Paraguay has no cinema tradition, which makes the sudden emergence of such a remarkable film as The Heiresses all the more astonishing. After its debut at the Berlin Film Festival early last year, where Anna Brun won the Best Actress Award, the film screened in competition at the Sydney Film Festival and won the Best Film Award. Writer-director Marcello Martinesi's achievement is considerable, and his success is well-deserved. There's hardly a male character in sight in this hermetic drama. Instead, the focus is on two ageing women. Cella and Chiquita have been lifelong companions. Judging from the grand old mansion situated in an upscale suburb of the country's capital, Asuncion, we can guess that they were once so rich and privileged that they were beyond criticism. But those days are long past, and the house is in a sad state of disrepair. Clearly in desperate need of funds, the women have reluctantly decided to sell some of their treasured possessions, including artworks, silver, china and glassware. In Paraguay, it seems, to accumulate unpaid bills is tantamount to fraud. Chiquita, who has clearly been keeping from her friend the true facts of their poverty, assumes responsibility for the debt and receives a prison sentence, leaving the timid Chella alone in the house with the maid. To make matters worse, Chella has never learnt to drive. This was always Chiquita's role. But in order to visit her friend in prison, she has to overcome this hurdle. The prison scenes, filmed in a real prison, offer a stark contrast to life in the gloomy old house. They're alive with colour and activity, and not at all the location of gloomy incarceration you might expect. When Cello is asked by her snobbish neighbour, Pituca, to drive her to the location of her regular bridge game, Cello reluctantly agrees, and is soon providing a sort of unofficial taxi service for some of her other elderly acquaintances. It's during these excursions she encounters Angie, a young woman who, unlike the elderly women with whom the uptight cello is acquainted, is relaxed, easygoing and sensual. These two women form an unlikely friendship. The film's title suggests that Cella and Chiquita are heirs to a decaying society that is gradually being replaced by the forward-looking women of Angie's generation. And that, Martinesi is saying, is no bad thing. In any event, this subtle, beautifully acted and in many ways remarkable debut is an exciting discovery from an unexpected source. I'm giving the heiresses four stars. Thank you.